Outside of the studio, I am constantly changing my ISO because the lighting in the world around me is constantly changing. ISO has become like my best friend. I said I love natural light. When the lighting's just right, you can't beat the sun as your source of light. But if you live in the real world, the sun is rarely where it needs to be. When it's right, turn off the flash and capture the magic that is natural light. But more often than not, natural light sucks. During these times, simply switch on the flash and power through it. You've got options. How does flash power play into all of this? Do you really even need to know anything about flash power? Can I just control my light by my aperture? These are all real good questions, but by understanding flash power, I once again increase my exposure options. When learning to shoot with flash, it's best to learn with your flash in the manual mode so that you can shoot consistently and you have all the control. So we've been talking about shutter speed and aperture. What we're gonna do now is take those two components and put them together, see how they work in conjunction with each other to create some exciting lighting. Your shutter speed is limited to your camera's sync speed. This is what creates that gradient of light that we call softness. This lens is wide open. Find somebody that's gonna push you to get better. Are you ready to take your photography to the next level?